money, money, money makes the world go round. And they say that money is the evil, is the root of all evil. But come on, money can also calm our nerves. We need money, right? But at the same time, that is the yardstick of success in this capitalistic system right now. It is the measurement of money and accumulated assets. Just look at the Forbes top 50 richest people in the world. But this capitalistic system that we are in, rooted in a secular viewpoint, is very much antagonistic to the Islamic viewpoint, an Islamic-based development, I call it. There be this is because the concepts and assumptions of development are antagonistic, read opposite to each other. Time frame, for example, in the dominant development uh, paradigm, believes that time is with regards to the immediate world, whereas in the Islamic-based development paradigm, is based on five realms. The realm of the spiritual, the realm of the womb, the immediate world, the realm of the grave, and the realm of the hereafter. In terms of natural resources, it's very limited. But man's wants are unlimited. However, in Islamic-based development, that is the reverse. And the concept of development itself in conventional development, natural resources is limited. Yet, and that development is the aim, is the final aim. Whereas in Islamic-based development, well, development is just a tool. And this is where my research comes in. It is to go back to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem starts with men. Because the crux of the matter is that <coughs> men's desires can be curtailed. So how do I go about doing it? Is to go back to the Quran and see what are the terms that can be extracted to see how can an Islamic-based development actor be made. Five terms have been used or have been identified based on the four criteria set. What are they? Believing men. They have to be specific terms, not confined to any historical depiction or future. And lastly, in those verses, antagonistic values are as well mentioned. For example, good versus evil. And with that finding of five terms, I extracted 12 distinctive characteristics of an Islamic-based development actor. Now just imagine, with this Islamic-based development actor, they can now manage your assets and your money. And Islamic institutions in Malaysia now managing billions of our assets, you'll be rest assured that money and assets can be your tool for success in this world as well as in the hereafter. And most importantly, money will no longer be the root of evil. Thank you.